all of our political parties have spent far too much time talking to themselves, and specifically the government. Yes, it's an utter shambles, as you said, and it's shameful. I would disagree with what you said, though, about needing to stay within the customs union and the single market, because I don't think that the 52% of people who voted to leave uh, had a, 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 a silent caveat in their heads when they put the tick in that box. They didn't think, yes, we want to leave, but we want to stay in the customs union and the single market, because if you stay in the customs union and the single market, you're not leaving. You're, 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 now, hold on, now, hold on. Now, you may, be, you may or may not be right that it could lead to economic disaster for this country if we do leave them, but I'm sorry, this is democracy. We took a referendum, 52% of people said we want to leave, and that means leaving. Um, in, a, in a moment of clarity, a long time ago now it seems, the Prime Minister said Brexit means Brexit, and a few people said, well, what does that mean? Well, it was obvious what it meant. She meant that we were absolutely going to leave hook, line and sinker. And so, I think, so what and do I you think make of the process that's going on? I think the process is a mess. I don't think, well, in fact, I don't think there is a process. I think what we're seeing, as far as the government's concerned, is this lurching from, from, from one holding operation to the next, and the clock's ticking. We've got ten months to go. And I think it is now time for proper leadership on this, a proper acknowledgement that the people have spoken, they want us to leave, that includes leaving both those organisations that, that, that you name, and let's come on with it and make it work. And I voted Remain. <laughs>